If you're looking to build a website that's mobile friendly, offers useful website analytics, and provides an overall great user experience, then I'd suggest you use anything else but Canva's website builder. To kick this off, I want to talk about responsiveness. Now, if you search on YouTube, websites in Canva, you'll get hundreds of videos telling you your website will be responsive. And for the most part, those videos are correct. Your website will try really hard to be responsive across different devices, but it will fail almost every single time. You'll run into issues with placement of your elements, centering of your content, and sizing of your fonts. Really, all Canva is doing is shuffling your content to fit a mobile screen. Fonts and elements just do what they're told and they conform to that space. So in other words, your mobile website will look busted up and will provide your users with an overall bad viewing experience. Next up is the navigation header or the lack thereof. Yes, you can find pre-made templates that could pass as a navigation header, but they don't really help. If you give up looking for a pre-made version and decide to go rogue and create something from scratch, be prepared for some headaches. Like getting your fancy new header to display correctly on mobile or even adding rollover hover states for links. Canva doesn't even allow for that and that's such a basic feature to have. Moving on, let's talk about adding pages to your website. Now you can add a new page to your website by clicking on this add page icon, but really it's not adding a separate page with its own unique URL. No, Canva is just creating a new section and then it's gonna shove it right underneath the previous section. So in reality, what you're creating is a really long landing page, one really long, long landing page and you know what, that might be cool with you, but if you're looking to create a multi-page website, you would have to create a completely new Canva website project so you get a new URL. Then what you would have to do is repeat the process as many times as you need. Then you would create that busted navigation bar and then you would just add those links in for the different pages. Next, I wanna talk about analytics. Most if not all websites leverage analytics to improve their user experience and gain useful insights. Now Canva implemented a new feature a while back called Insights. And while it does provide some data like traffic and views, it lacks any data to help justify why the you made your website so long. Now I know this might all come off as harsh, but people should know what they're getting themselves into before spending the time trying to make things work. With that said, would I recommend the Canva website feature to a friend or client? And my answer is gonna be no. There are just so many cons with the Canva website builder not to mention the ones that I just covered. I would say you're better off using a website builder like Weebly or Squarespace for your next web project. Yes, you're gonna pay a little bit of money to get those websites up and running, but at the end of the day, I would rather pay for a better user experience for my customers and myself.